Hi, welcome back to Mike Makes It. I've got a Swan CCTV system, an SWN VK885806. And I've got a couple of these dome cameras. They're the Swan SWN HD888 MSD. And on the whole, they've been very good. Uh, this one we're looking at now though, at night, is a bit blurry. I'll put a few um, photos up online. You can have a look at those now. Um, basically, I'm going to do today, get that down. Um, it's not the outside of the glass is uh, dirty. Somehow uh, it's got contamination on the inside of the lens. So uh, we'll get that down, put it on the bench and see what we can find. Well, there you go. We've got on the bench. The camera's not been that bad, I must admit. I did have one fail out of the eight cameras I got in total. And Swan changed that under warranty. It took a little while, but um, they can actually log on to this uh, CCTV system and have a look at what's going on. And they decreed, yeah, the camera's duff, which I already told them it was. So they swapped that out. But we're outside of warranty now. Um, and if you look at the lens, again, the right light, you can see there's got condensation in there. Now, these are supposed to be weatherproof. Uh, I've had similar problems with some of the cameras, but they tend to dry out. Um, you give them a few, well, actually a few hours, and they seem to dry out on their own. Um, even the, if it's under shelter, some of the cameras are actually under cover, uh, and they still have this condensation buildup. Now, this one happens to be sort of in the weather, but not the worst of the weather. But somehow, we've got condensation in there. So the bottom line is, we've got to open it up um, and get rid of that condensation. Now, what I might have done, if it hadn't already got one in there, put a silica gel bag in. You know, the ones that say, do not eat. Um, however, normally what happens when you open a product up, you chuck the bags out. So I've not got any spare ones lying around that I'm aware of. Otherwise, I would have put one of them in here. What I'm going to do, though, is open it up. Hopefully, there's a nice rubber seal on it. This might be a one-off. Might, might have got to be a bit zealous with the pressure washer up on the patio. So maybe it's self-induced. Um, but... When this all open and we've dried it out, I'm going to whack it on the arga, just on the the hot plate, not actually the cooking plate, I should say. It's a warming plate. Put that on for a couple hours, let it thoroughly dry out, bang it back together, stick it back on the house. So hopefully that'll do it. But uh, yeah, get a couple of screwdrivers now and see if we can get this open. This obviously is working apart from condensation. Now I'd like to keep it that way. So um, I don't want to make it any worse. Let's just mark this. It may or may not matter. It was a good idea if you're opening something up that could be fitted back together wrongly. Uh, put a little mark on it like that. And you can't make a mistake. Don't put two marks on there or you will. Let's just open this up. I'll say Swan declare they, they're weatherproof. Um, possibly not pressure washer proof. But I didn't blast it horribly, but it might have caught the tail end of a little bit of a clean I was doing. Let's see if... There we go. So just three screws on that. Now I'm expecting that just to snap apart. It's got a ribbon in there, um, a flexi strip ribbon cable. So you don't want to go ripping at that too, too harshly. Lots of cables. Um, oh, there is like a kind of bag of silica gel in there. We see if we can pull these cables out delicately. You just want to make sure I can't get them back to front. Um, it looks as if I can. Two of them, so um, get the old sharpie out again. Okay? I've got a cable up the top with um, yellow, black, red. Another cable at the bottom, yellow, black, red. And they appear to be the same sort of connector. So uh, let's just mark that one up and mark a cap there. So mark there, mark there. I know that cable goes there. This other one, doesn't matter where that one goes, as long as it's in the right hole. Um, these I shouldn't have to interfere with. This is a network ca uh, camera, I should say. It's not a coaxial cable. Um, so there's a lot of electronics going on in here that... Um, decodes the signal if you like from the CCD chip and 
sends it up this cable back to uh, the receiver. Uh, there's one more cable there, but that's uh, a one of a kind. And two ribbon cables going on. So uh, let's see if we can pull that out without breaking anything. One. Two. Three. The ribbon cables, they seem to be the little clip that you've got to pull. Here, there's a retaining clip here. So if you lift this up gently, that ribbon cable should pop out. That probably does matter which way round it goes. So just mark that up again. If you just give it a little bit of wiggle wiggle, that plastic strip lifts up. Out comes a ribbon cable. If that focuses, you'll be able to see what I was talking about. This little plastic bar lifts up, takes the pressure off the ribbon cable, and you can pop it out. Same thing with this one here. A lot longer. We'll mark it up again. Just so there's no room for error. Believe me, if you don't mark it, and it's not obvious, you are going to put it the wrong way round. I can tell you that from experience. Right, there we go. We separated the two halves. This half won't have to trouble with at all. Does feel... I thought, yeah, we've got some moisture going on in here. So, um, I think that might be the pressure washer. i get that out of the way. You do have a rubber seal on it, though. There's a gasket running all the way round. So I would have hoped that would have uh, kept it out, but clearly it hadn't. There's your bag of silica gel. So you can reuse silica gel. So that'll go on the Argo. We'll dry that out thoroughly and we'll stick it back in. So let's just pop that out. Yep. Uh, ooh, on the floor. Hang on. There we go. It's a bit slippy. Does say on it, do not eat. And we look in here, you can, I don't know if you'll see this. Yeah, you actually got water. So, um, yeah, that's not good. I'm open to uh, be able to pull the whole unit out without causing it too much trouble. There's a couple of screws. Uh... Three screws, another one here. There's two more in the middle, but I'm, I'm going for those three on the outside, and that frame might lift out. Let's try. They're different size to the uh, the other screws, so I don't want to muddle them up. I have a rummage in the toolbox here. One. three it's possible I could have just stuck this on the Argo with a case open and it would dry out but that's not a very interesting video let's see if that'll yeah let's take the gasket off the one that hadn't kept the water out I might put a, a squidge of uh, Vaseline around here grease may just help it um, help his water properties there may be cables attached to this oh no it's coming out as one lump oh that's okay I don't know if you can see that on there there's a sheen for one of a better word over the lens so we'll give that a little bit of a, a wipe over You've got all your LEDs here for illumination for night. And that's a nice little module. But that's as far as I need to dismantle it. We look what's left in here. We've got some power to the uh, infrared. There's a PIR sensor going on there. And uh, you can see the ring of moisture. 
So I'll dry this up with a cotton bud. Get the worst of it out. There we go. You actually see a drip of water this fell out of the uh, the camera itself. It is uh, probably not coming over too well on the camera, but you can see the moisture here. So uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. We'll give it a little clean up now. Clean the lens. Uh, and stick it on the Argo for a couple hours. Yeah, oh, look, look, pool of water. <laughs> yeah, it's getting focused there. So, uh, yeah, lots of moisture in it. To get this nice and dry on the Argo. Dry absolutely every drop of moisture out of it. And uh, we'll get it back up on the house. And hopefully, it was dead obvious at night with the... Uh, Look at that. It's dead obvious at night how poor the, the image was. Not so much in the days. So I'm really surprised considering how bad the lens was. But, yeah, enough talk, Mike. I'll get this dry, get on the Argo, and we'll put it back together in uh, probably a couple hours and get it back out on the house and see uh, what the difference is from day to night, literally. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Right, we've been on the Argo for a couple hours. Uh, so hopefully any moisture has been dried out. Just giving the lens um, best I can a clean over on the inside. Shouldn't really be dirty except for that condensation. As we clean that out, we should be good to go. But uh, I don't want to find out there's a fingerprint on it afterwards. Although, to be honest, given the display it was given with all that condensation in on it, it wasn't doing bad. It was more at night that uh, it was causing some issues. So I'll put a couple of screenshots on uh, for later tonight uh, on the video so you can see the difference. But uh, that's kind of looking okay. All right. Let's make a little bit of space. So there's the lens unit. I say lens unit. There's... Uh, camera lens this is just clear glass so we'll see if we can give that a little bit of wipe over just uh, gently and that looks okay so we'll see if we can get this back in there same way as we took it out very carefully not that way that's the way by the looks of it There we go, that's sitting in there. There's no, doesn't feel to be any trap wires, which is always good. Three of the smaller screws. That's one. Just start a couple of threads on that. One there. Going off shot a little bit for you. Another loose one done up. And the last one here goes in there. All right, they're all done up loosely. Now we just nip them. One. Two, three. So that's all back together. Lens still looks okay. <clears throat> this is uh, obviously we're going to put those together. What I might do is do this off camera because all you're going to do is end up seeing hands in the way. I've got the gasket. I'm just going to wipe a little bit of silicon grease over on the gasket before I place it back in here. Uh, then the cap will be reassembled after the cables go together. But I need to do it in a particular order, otherwise I'm going to be stuck, this won't go on. So we'll get this back together and we'll take it back to the house um, and screw it back to the wall. One thing I will say before you uh, dismantle your own and put it back together, the gasket, doesn't matter which way round it goes, 
there's two holes here which is different to the smaller hole there that's because on the camera body itself there's two pillars sticking out third one's flat so just make sure you go the right way round right there you go all back together should be functioning quite well now uh, and certainly with a clean lens we've removed this cataract what I have got to do a bit of self amalgamating tape around here where the network cable comes in uh, but apart from that that should be done and hopefully by now you'll be seeing uh, on screen a before and after um, not a vast difference but th there is, a, is the clarity is so 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 much better than it was uh, particularly when the sun's shining on it but anyhow I hope you found that interesting if you have feel free to subscribe or give me a thumbs up that'd be great